My job was the first sergeant of uh, the 514 Signal Company, 35th Signal Brigade Airborne. Uh, we uh, basically, uh, as a first sergeant, uh, I, my job was simply to uh, take care of my soldiers and uh, the, the, the part of, uh, the, I guess the most important part was uh, to uh, try to bring them back uh, all safe home. It started off um, uh, when I came back. Uh, you know, we, we, we got through uh, the, uh, what they used to call the uh, uh, debriefings and the uh, uh, like post uh, deployment uh, transitions and different things that you have to go through. Um, and everybody was, man, we're all good, we're fine. You know, nothing's, you know. It was, it was like another training session, or so to speak. Uh, but uh, things started to change when uh, I, I really started noticing at home. I've uh, been married uh, for now 29 years. And uh, when I got home, uh, there were many times when out of nowhere, uh, I could be as calm as I am right now and out of nowhere, uh, without any reason, uh, I will snap and I will start cursing, causing, yelling, uh, throwing things. Uh, and needless to say, my wife started to uh, notice that. Uh, I can say that uh, right now, I believe that, I mean, things like uh, nightmares still come up every once in a while. Uh, Memorial Day weekends, uh, Veterans Day weekends, or Veterans Days, they're the worst because of the things that happened during that time and the, the ceremonies and all that stuff uh, just uh, gets me all depressed. Uh, I have to isolate myself. Uh, I cry for nothing, for something, you know, for anything. Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's hard to explain, but uh, I cope with the day-to-day -day life. Uh, thank you to start off with my, my wife. Uh, she's been like uh, the, the backbone and uh, the, the number one reason for me to, uh, to number one, accept that uh, there was something wrong with me. Uh, and for me to uh, to go in and, and, and get checked and uh, confirm that uh, yes, there was something wrong with me, known as PTSD, uh, through the VA. Uh, the VA has been tremendous. Uh, the counselors, uh, doctors that I've uh, been working with uh, for all these years, uh, they have. Uh, Help me tremendously uh, in understanding the problem in the cold piece. Uh, before I went to Iraq, uh, I was, uh, you know, the, the, the gung ho uh, guy, you know, uh, as a paratrooper uh, with, uh, with uh, soldiers from Fort Bragg. The uh, I always wanted to be the, the best leader that there was out there, um, very uh, communicative, uh, I, I will talk with everybody, I will uh, show up for everything, I will uh, be as uh, outgoing as I could be, uh, as receptive of, as I could be, uh, soldiers will come in and out of my office uh, to discuss things. Uh, Back at home, uh, we will be going to many things such as uh, uh, either camping, vacations, and all these other things. Uh, uh, and many of those things, uh, when I came back, uh, really uh, were like the opposite. Uh, you can tell that uh, uh, sometimes I will just stay quiet. To this date, sometimes I try to avoid some of the uh, events that took place, but uh, I'm 
I'm more open to discuss it, especially with those that uh, experience uh, similar events, whether it was in Iraq or Afghanistan, uh, or veterans from, from Vietnam, or work groups that I attend to in, with the VA. Uh, it's a good way to uh, get around and, and, and share some of the experiences or listen to some of the experiences. I can I can go to uh, to crowded places, but I have to be uh, I'm always on the, on, on guard. Uh, I have to pick places, you know, where I sit. I cannot be I cannot have my back toward like a window. Uh, there's got to be some kind of uh, known or comfort zone behind me uh, or wall. Um, I also uh, I used to love to go to uh, Fourth of July uh, fireworks celebrations. I cannot do that anymore. Uh, it just drive me crazy, you know, start feeling like it's a, it's a feeling of uh, I gotta be you know, I gotta be hiding somewhere. I gotta be inside a, a safer place. Uh, it's hard to explain, but that's how I feel. Um, 